goodness, Kev, you got a huge package. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to do an unboxing right now. This is not a guitar, obviously. There might actually be a body inside here, but we're going to find out what's in this package. So you guys stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Find my damn razor blade, so we're just going to use a little push pin. I don't give a shit. We're going to make it happen when we get into this. Hopefully somebody doesn't jump out of here and try to spook me. I don't know. It says 105 pounds on the, bo on the box. It could very well be a person in here. Heavy package over 70 pounds requires a dolly. Get help when required. Bend your knees and keep weight close to your body. Or if you work out as much as I do, you can cut all that bullshit and you can just lift the damn thing. Cool. Look at the size of my package. Daddy to my pot. Tell me I'm the only one. Is this really love or just a game? Ooh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Kev. I've wanted one of these since I was a little kid. I finally got one. <laughs> and once again, I got more of this shit. And it goes on for miles. <laughs> And it sucks when the styrofoam got all of it. But here's what it is. I'm just going to pull the damn thing up. Check this out. Oh, this is going to be epic. Epic, epic. Oh my god, this thing weighs a freaking... This thing's a beast, dude. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What does that say? Dude, this thing's a fucking tank. Oh, excuse my language. Look, dude. That's what we wanted. So right here, fellas. Out of the way. Oh, my God. Dude, this thing is ginormous. <laughs> but it's awesome. Oh, all right. Let me back it up. What we have here, gentlemen, and very few ladies. I know that just by checking on my demographics, going into my analytics and all that. It's all dudes in my channel. All us metal dudes. All right. So what we got here is 6505. This is the 212. Let me flip this around. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. All right, what we have here, guys, is a PV 6505 212. So pretty much I wanted one of these. I wanted, obviously, the 5150. Like, uh, when that came out back when I was younger, I played one at a store, and, um, man, I fell in love with it. The thing was just an absolute powerhouse. It had a great freaking sound. Um, and here, this is pretty much the same thing as the 5150, uh, all the, you know, USA made all the tubes, everything's exactly the same, like the, the circuitry, the sound, all that good stuff. But I wanted to get one in a combo form and I happened to be just scrolling, doing my thing. And I found this guy. So I wanted to pick it up. Price was awesome too, by the way. Uh, this is, uh, everything I wanted. I just, I kept kicking it around, you know, I'm like looking for something. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to you know, spend my money on as far as an amp upgrade. I mean, my boss katana right here. Yeah, that's great and everything, but man, I want this sound. I want this distortion. And especially considering got the effects loop and if I ever uh, end up jamming with some people, I can run another speaker if I end up, you know, deciding. Actually, this thing would def definitely uh, more than keep up with the drummers and you know, just as far as being heard and everything, just the power of this sucker is just phenomenal. So, um, also what I have, I actually got another package I got to open that goes with this thing on a second. So, yeah, like I mentioned, I got one more thing I want to open with this. The other box is already open. Where's that safety pin? I don't want to step on that sucker. That would not feel good in my foot. This right here is uh, another piece of the whole package. Um, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, you live in a apartment how are you going to keep it down with that much power that much wattage well this is the answer this is what everybody's been doing do a little more research on it and this is what i came up with Let me just uh open the sucker all right the tape was stronger than me that time okay so what we have here 
this other thing that I got. Uh, to go with everything. The KFK MXR 10 band EQ. Got the uh, adapter over there for it to plug in. So we'll be using this as well as this guy right here. Um, I looked around for, I was looking for the freaking Fort and Zools, um, kicking uh, around maybe uh, the Decimator. What was that, that Decimator called? The Decimator 2 or whatever one it was. But I actually found this one. I'm trying to remember the name of it, which it's not even on here, I don't believe. Whatever, I'll put it across the video so you guys uh, will see what I'm talking about. But this one was either, this is either a company out of, um, it's either Canada or Germany. I can't remember exactly offhand. That's what that noise gate looks like. And actually, based on the reviews and then just some of the um, the other specs on it and just like uh, reading what it actually does. This thing is actually like one of the... Um, it's a noise gate that is like, it's got like intelligence. It basically has a brain. It like knows what you want to do with it kind of thing. It's hard to explain, but basically, um, you know, when you guys is, uh, when you run in the noise gate, it cuts off a lot of your notes where you don't want it to. This actually allows those notes to continue on. But also when you do pauses and whatnot, it's, it's like this thing has a brain. It knows exactly what you're trying to do when you're playing. So I was really impressed by this and wanted to give it a try. And there's not really... There's a couple reviews on it, but now um, now that I have this in my possession and I just get the cables and everything to use all this stuff, I'll be able to do a step-by-step, a -step, just a really good breakdown of this uh, this noise gate and to give you guys an idea what this thing's capable of. I'm, I'm eager to try it too myself. So it works really good for, you know, like uh, riffs where you're doing a lot of pauses or stops and you want those notes to disappear, but at the same time, if you're doing soloing or if you're doing pinch harmonics or you want notes to carry out a little bit longer, it, they won't get cut off. This thing will keep uh, keep them there for you. So I'm really, really interested and excited to try that. So that with the 10 band EQ, so I'll be able to adjust my volume and I'll be able to still, you know, get a good push, uh, good sound. It won't, I won't lose tone. I'll still be able to play at bedroom levels, which would be good, or living room levels, obviously, when I'm jamming out here. Um... But yeah, let's uh, look at what this thing's all about on this uh, PV amp. I swear, man, this thing could survive a nuclear blast. I mean, dude, it's just built like a brick shit house. Look at this sucker. God. This thing's awesome. Once I clean it up, get all this freaking styrofoam and shit off of it. But no, let's check it, uh, check it out up here. We got our high and our low gain. My first amplifier was a, actually as a PV Triumph 60. So this is really cool. This is my second tube amp. My first, the very first amp I ever had was a tube amp. And now this one is uh, my second tube amp. So every everything in between was always solid state. So this is really cool for me. I cannot wait to uh, plug this in, man, and see what it's all about. I finally have basically a 5150. I always wanted this. Oh, let's look at the back. Yeah, made in the USA, baby. That's what we're talking about. Uh, can't say the same for the newer PV stuff. Maybe the exception of the 6505 head and maybe a couple other things. But, yeah, I got, uh, I got like, the best of the best right here. All the freaking metal guys were playing on this kind of stuff. And I wanted to be able to experience that too. Overall, man, um, yeah, you got your little bit of wear and tear right there and right there. But, dude, you could still, sing, like I said, it'll survive a freaking nuclear blast. <sighs> Designed and built in the USA. So I'm freaking happy. And, uh, yeah, this was a very good... Uh, very good present to walk into, especially, I, by the way, you guys, thank you so much for getting me past 100,000 subs. I really, really, I got to do something special for it. I don't know what it's going to be, but I can't thank you guys enough for the support and just, yeah, all, all the motivation, all the positive feedback. You guys are just freaking amazing. You have no idea how much that means to me. This is so cool, but um, I got to, what was I going to say? I, I'm drawing a blank. What the hell was I talking about? Just came back to planet earth i remember what i was talking about this was a very very cool thing to come back home to from uh 
just the incredible weekend I spent uh, deer hunting with my dad up here in Michigan. We just, I got on more animals than I've ever seen in my life, but like this was, this was very special to come back home to. It wasn't going to be delivered until I was gone, so uh, yeah, this was very, very cool to come home to. So I get to uh, set all this up, and I got I to gotta run the Guitar Center tomorrow and uh, pick up the cables that I'm going to need to, uh, you know, plug these other things in to uh, uh, obviously hook up my 10-band EQ along with the noise gate and everything. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to firing this guy up and checking it out and, like, you know, obviously sharing this with you guys. I'm, man, I'm so pumped. I'm excited, dude. This is really cool. Other thing too, as I'm sitting here looking at this thing, it just it brings back a lot of great memories I had with my first amp, which was that PV Triumph 60 and my uh, Fender Strat copy, that Lady Luck guitar, my very first guitar, and just um, yeah, trying to you just barely turn the volume knob, knob up. I think it was post uh, was my volume, and I could never get that thing up that loud because it's just I lived in an apartment with my my mom and my sister, and I could never really crank the amp. But, uh, yeah, I, a couple times I did take it to a buddy that I used to hang out with back in elementary school. Uh, he played drums, and I'd bring that thing over to his house, and, yeah, I would be able to crank it. But, man, just the amount of balls that that amp had when you would crank it was just, like, it would just blow you back. It was insane. This PV stuff is great. So, yeah, just sitting here looking at the logo and just look like the the overall construction, the feel of it. Obviously, when I picked it up out of the box, I'm like, man, it just instantly brought back memories of that PV Triumph 60 when I was a little kid. That was that was a really that was a really cool special moment. I know, I know it sounds silly, but man, just uh, it really did. It brought me back to my childhood. That was pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. I wish I could fire it up right now and test it out, but it's midnight right now. I got to get to bed. So we're going to do this tomorrow, but this is the first part of the video. And then, like I said, I'll uh, I'll go over this thing with you guys. We'll check it out and uh, plug it in. I'll play some riffs and all that, all that kind of good stuff. And, uh, yeah, see what this thing's all about, what it's capable of doing. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you guys like the video, that always helps me out. You guys know that, and I appreciate it so much. As you guys know, that I keep saying all the time, thanks so much for watching everything that I, that I post and share with you guys. I really, really appreciate it. You guys stay safe out there. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.